We took a survey a little while ago and you guys said you wanted more technical content. We're going to deliver that to you. I'm going to show you how in just a second. Roll the intro. Parts for Project X have been provided by Automatic Distributors, one of the nation's leading suppliers of Bronco ATV and UTV components. Hey everyone, I am Josh Trokey with Motorcycle and Power Sports News. And as I said in the intro, you guys said you wanted some more technical content, which I'm going to introduce you to Project X. That's how we're going to bring this to you. What is Project X? Well, I'm glad you asked. Project X is this. So this is a 2007 Polaris Sportsman 800. Now, why did we pick this one? It's because this is super common. There is a ton of them out there, which means a couple of things. A, you can probably find one of these fairly inexpensively and do a similar project on your own. And B, there are a ton of parts out there. Speaking of a ton of parts, we have a lot of them back here. Bronco ATV and UTV sent us a workbench full of stuff here. And we're gonna do everything from tie rod ends to throttle cables to, yep, we're going this deep. We're gonna do some pistons also, along with the cylinders, possibly some clutch work, and we're gonna replace the suspension on this thing because it's a 2007 and it is an ATV. That's one of the things that I love about being in this industry. These get used. These are for fun. They're for work, but it's also fun work. So let's start talking about some of the stuff that we're gonna dive into on this in a little bit more detail and work from there. So one of the first things that we are gonna cover in this is we're gonna start with some of the basics. And with this being a 2007, it is, carry the what, it is 14 years old. That means it's got some miles on it. So we want to make sure that the front end is good and tight because there's nothing worse than going down the road and getting the wobbles. So we are going to be replacing some tie rod ends on this. We're also going to show you how to do an alignment in that same procedure there. So stay tuned for that. In this, with that many miles, you've obviously gone up and down quite a few times. Shocks do wear out. So these are gonna be one of the other things that we're gonna do. We're actually gonna do front and back on that for our steering and suspension episode. So through the next couple of episodes, and it's gonna take a couple of episodes, we are tearing this thing down to redo the engine because we've gone, we've even got new holes for it. And to fill those holes, we've got some new pistons. On top of that, new pistons and rings don't really matter if you can't seal anything inside the cylinder, so new valves for it also. And speaking of sealing, new top end gasket kit also. So essentially, this is gonna have a brand new top end in it by the time we're done. I'm really excited about that part, diving in and uh, renewing the heartbeat of this because once again, it's got some miles on her. Speaking of having a lot of miles on, what happens when you do put a lot of miles on on an off-road vehicle? Well, with mud and anything else that you may happen to stumble across, you're going to wear out parts, such as CV boots. So we're going to show you how to replace those to make sure that your CV axles stay in good shape for a long time to come. On top of that, with mud and everything like that, there's always that chance that you end up ripping a seal or destroying a seal for one of your differentials. So we are gonna do a differential bearing and seal kit. So that way you can see what's going on in there and make sure that you maintain those correctly to avoid being stuck out on the trail. On top of that, U-joints take a beating, especially off-road. I don't even wanna take this out of the plastic yet because of the clips in here, but you guys know what I'm looking at. That is gonna be two episodes for our driveline setup. 
So after we do all the driveline stuff, we're going to change it up a little bit. And fuel and electricity don't always mix, but they do in a way. One way is with the fuel pump and fuel pressure regulator. So we are going to replace that. Once again, older model ATV, we want to make sure that we update the stuff like that. Next up after that, speaking of the electrical components, we are going to replace the stator. Stators will last a long time, but not forever. Speaking of electrical stuff, we're rebuilding the motor. The last thing that I want to do is let it overheat. So we're going to change out the water temperature sensor too and show you how to do that. And speaking of back to fuel, once again, I'm pretty sure the guy that rode this spent most of his time with his thumb trying to press through the front end of the ATV. Throttle cables probably stretched a little bit, so we're going to replace that too. From there, we're going to move on to some accessories because if we're rebuilding this thing, we should probably make it just that little bit better and that much more usable. With this being four-wheel drive and a trail machine, you're going to go out and you're going to find places where four-wheel drive is not going to be enough to get you out of it. That being said, Bronco has a winch for us on this. Looking forward to putting this on so that way you can get out of any sticky situations that you might get into. On top of that, who's to say that winter needs to stop you? That being said, we've also got heated hand grips for this. Really looking forward to these about December time. Another episode that we're going to look into and cover on this is wheel bearings. You get all sorts of crud just rolling around in here, destroying these things. So we're going to show you how to make easy work of a replacement on it. On top of that, kind of going along with the accessory line too, we're going to put in some wheel spacers. This is going to give this thing a great look. It's going to get the wheels out a little bit further and you're going to get a little bit better handling with them too. So we're going to take care of all of those items and a few more. And I say a few more for two reasons. A, whenever you dive into a project like this, you always find a few extra things that you need to take care of. B, I wanted to leave some surprises for you guys also. In all that, look for these to start coming out really soon. I will catch you guys out on the trail.